What is up everybody, thanks for tuning in to a Molten Hype unboxing review. Today I'll be going over the Jordan Zoom Tenacity 88 and the True Blue colorway. Right off the bat, starting with the packaging, nice cost cutting choice by JB. 30th anniversary box in black and gold, bringing that nostalgia back from 2015. Sizing, I went true to size and I like the fit. A little snug in the toe box, but still comfortable. Inside, you'll find 23 paper wraps these shoes up. But that's enough for the packaging, let's finally get into the shoes. Getting into first impressions, I think what was most notable was how light they were when I finally got them in hand. Weighing in at only 21 ounces, this is definitely a very lightweight shoe. A variety of materials could also be seen used on the upper, and I like how it all came together. But what I'm most impressed by is how much these actually look like the Jordan 3s. Many may disagree, but I find that they took a lot of design elements from the Jordan 3 and added it very elegantly to a running shoe. Out of all the runners that JB has come out with inspired by retros, I think these by far look the best. Small details like run instead of air under the Jumpman on the heel, the use of elephant print in two different materials, and even the midsole paint were just some of the reasons that got me excited to buy this shoe. Taking a look at the upper, the majority is covered by a white mesh underlay with hyperfuse overlays in elephant print and white, as well as synthetic leather on the eyelets in elephant print. Taking a look at the outsole, you'll find it in gray and red rubber, Interesting choice by Jordan brand, given that rubber is not the most lightweight material. However, they are able to cut down on some of this extra weight by literally cutting out pieces of the outsole. I think one of the more interesting parts of the shoe is what you can't see in pictures. The elephant print on the eyelets go all the way into the shoe and is sewn into the midsole. And you can find this on both the lateral and on the medial side of the shoes. After trying these shoes on and lacing them up, I felt that these panels of elephant print added a lot of support and I think were a great addition to the shoe. Now let's focus in on that Jumpman on the tongue. It's backed by a piece of foam and bordered by a piece of red felt. The tongue does feel pretty thin, but I didn't feel any discomfort when lacing these shoes up. And here's a look at both embroideries on the tongue. And then here are just some more details panning around the shoe. Taking a look at the insole now. Inside, you'll see a jump man as well as running, underlined with engineered for flight. Taking a closer look at that insole, it is a Ortholite Performance insole in blue, lined with a red material. Ortholite insoles are some of my favorite and definitely adds a lot of step and comfort for the shoe, which is always welcome. And that brings us to the cushioning system. Now, if you didn't like the materials used or the design of the shoe, then I believe that this is a redeeming quality of the shoe that makes it worth buying. Flight speed technology is found with zoom air in the forefoot as well as zoom air in the heel. All of this is encased in a very plush and lightweight Phylon midsole, not to mention the step in comfort that you get from your Ortholite insole. This is a cushioning system that you typically find in more expensive Jordans, but to find them on a pair that's almost half the price of current retros is a welcome find, and something that I hope Jordan brand keeps doing. That about brings us to the end of this review. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video to support what I'm doing. Subscribe if you want to stay notified on what's coming next. Wear what you like, not just the hype. This has been a More Than Hype unboxing and review.